Hey friends, uh, today I want to talk about something that's just kind of interesting to me, uh, cultivating my taste in EDM, electronic dance music. Uh, one of my hobbies for the last year or so has been listening to just a lot of EDM. Uh, some of my friends started sharing EDM with me and um, yeah, I started listening to it pretty much all of the time. Most days I listen to a lot of EDM and have just really enjoyed um, listening to it, of course, but also developing my taste over time. It's not really a hobby that I expected to develop, but it's something that's happened over time and I've taken a lot of joy in it. And so I just wanted to kind of reflect on what that experience has been like. Um, you know, at first my friends shared some music with me and I just really liked what they shared and uh, they had really good taste. And so I was just listening to what they shared. Um, and then I think a really big milestone was when my friend Michael Ashcroft told me about uh, Above and Beyond and, and Juno Beats. And uh, I realized, oh, there's just like albums and albums of this stuff. As of this recording, and Juno Beats has like 15 different albums that they've made. And, and Juno Deep, another album of their uh, like uh, record label of theirs has like 13 different records. And so last summer I had a project, you know, just long running thing that I was doing where I would just listen to all of the uh, and Juno Beats albums. And so I went started at the very beginning all the way up to 15 and I would listen to one of the albums multiple times and sort of like the different songs that I really enjoyed and then uh, also sort of noticed which of the albums I really resonated with. I think 11 is probably my favorite of the and Juno Beats ones, and then I also really like like eight and uh, I think yeah, eight and fifteen are probably my other big favorites. And then the other ones I enjoy quite varied. And uh, on on all of them, there's at least some tracks that I really like. But then some of them, like eleven, I like almost all of all the tracks on eleven, and almost all of the tracks on fifteen. And yeah, uh, and then through that process, I just started noticing like, oh, what do I really like, and what are the sounds that I really like and starting to pay attention to that. And there are certain kinds of sounds that I really like and certain sounds that I don't like or certain ways of arranging the sound songs that I really like or certain ways of arranging the songs that I don't like. Um, so that was a big part of it. And then I started listening to sets um, on YouTube. There's just lots and lots of sets from different artists. So I would pick an artist that I liked a few of their tracks on these albums and uh, yeah, just listen to sets that they made. And uh, some sets I like more than others. And so I would listen to those ones repeatedly. And then, you know, within those, there were certain tracks that I liked a lot and I would listen to those. And um, yeah, over time, similar thing happened of developing my taste of which artists I like, which songs I like, what kind of sounds I liked, what I didn't like. Um, over time, I found that my taste seems to have gone from trance, which above and beyond is more to like deep house, things like Art Bad or Tin Liquor. Those are probably my favorite artists right now. And uh, yeah, just really like the sounds that they make what, uh, you know, people call like filthy bass drops. Um, I'd really like to find another word because I don't personally like love that word. It doesn't really resonate with my experience of it. But um, yeah, that, that sound is what I really like. And it's just so good to dance to and so good to hear. And I really enjoy that. And um, also really like that with a lot of those uh, tracks, they're sort of like a steady, uh, rhythm throughout the whole track that's like easy to stay dancing to with a lot of the trance songs they sort of uh come in and out with the rhythm and um i guess that's to give you a, a like a sort of break uh, that's what my friend michael was explaining to me is like oh that gives you a break with the sets like to sort of cool down which makes total sense for like long dance sets but for me i just love like kind of non-stop rhythmic dancing and uh i have just so much energy in my body and I uh, just want to keep dancing and so I really like stuff that's just like the continuous rhythm the whole time and I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, so um, of course part of the way that I've cultivated my taste as well is just by making playlists and um, I run online dance parties for love and kindness and practicing love and kindness with dancing and so I make these playlists for these parties and just sort of curating my sensibilities of like oh what would make for a good dance set and you know, I sort of test these out on my own and I 
dance on my own frequently. I'll just go out to a park and dance and practice loving kindness. And so I'll make sets for that or, um, yeah, and just find what works and what are the good transitions and what songs really work well and what order should they be in. And um, that's something that I really liked about the uh, Anjuna Beats albums and the Anjuna Deep albums is like that they're mixed. And so uh, even though it, like the album might be two or three or four hours, it's it's just like one continuous flow throughout. There's no harsh transitions between them. And so, um, you know, when you make your own playlist in Spotify, you can sort of approximate that by having uh, songs that go well together and then often what I'll do is I'll like if I'm actually playing it live I'll like take notes and be like oh at this you know the 10th song this song like you know end the song early by like 15 seconds or five seconds or whatever uh, at whatever timestamp um, yeah but I've just found through listening to a bunch of music and like noticing what I like and curating playlists I've just really developed my taste over time and this has been just such a delightful hobby for me something that I didn't expect to have, but sort of developing this sense of what the genres are like and who's out there making what kinds of music and noticing what I really like. And uh, actually, it's really developed a desire to produce some of this music at some point or even make it myself. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. I've made a couple of tracks with my friend Danny J for the music videos that I've made so far that are sort of about loving kindness meditation. But um, I'd like to do more of that in the future, sort of connecting EDM to loving kindness, uh, this genre that I've called like meta wave or EV meta. Um, that's something I'd be interested in doing. And I have a very specific kind of sound in mind and suite of sounds in mind, and I think would be really cool to create and exploring that with Danny J or other musicians. And maybe hopefully other people start to create this kind of music as well. And uh, that's something that I'd be interested in exploring. But at the very least, it's just enjoyable for me to listen to this music and uh, you know, it's something I can do while I'm working and over time I develop like, oh yeah, I really like that track a lot. And I'll listen to, sometimes I listen to tracks on repeat just so much and uh, really enjoy that. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've listened to Anjuna Beats Volume 11, like it's so good and just listened to it so many times. And uh, yeah, for whatever reason, that's a quirk of my uh, preferences is I'll just listen to the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again when I really like it. So that's me. Other people like a bunch of variety and uh, I do like to learn new things, but when I find something that I like, I'll, you know, uh, listen to it just a bunch. And um, yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I didn't expect to have this as a hobby and I, I guess I didn't even know that it was a hobby that you could sort of uh, get really into a genre of music and find out what you like and what you didn't like. And in retrospect, it makes a lot of sense, but yeah, I just sort of wanted to talk about that and document it and uh, yeah, share that this has been a hobby that I've had. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching.